welcome back so uh this time on the channel uh no racing uh just gonna do some fabrication this time i've been talking about doing the switch to uh m1 fuel over this winter and i got a little time to kill so i'm gonna get started on the fuel cell i had uh, already made up my uh my cardboard template here so it's gonna look you know something like that when it's all said and done and i even got i got my fill cap that'll go in here. I got my regulator and then a breather and um, that's a regulator and breather and then the pump will go in this area. So right now, right now I'm going to go ahead and take all this, all these shapes and then trace them out on this aluminum and then just start cutting stuff out and then with any luck this weekend I'll go uh, weld it all together except for the top piece I won't weld on. I'm going to go ahead and put the holes in it for stuff, but I don't have the pump yet. Once I have the pump, um, then I can make the mount for the pump, and then uh, that I can finish weld and put the top on. But by putting the top on last, that will allow me to fully weld outside and inside the fuel cell, and then the top will just be outside welded on the, the perimeter of it. So for now, we'll get going on just uh, marking out and this eighth inch aluminum, marking out um, the shapes and everything, and get everything cut out and kind of finished up to size. So now, these two pieces are the top and the bottom. They're the only two pieces that gotta be pretty much exactly the same size to make welding everything together go like as smooth as possible. So what I'm gonna do is clamp them together and then I'll go around and just blend the edges all together so they all match.
All blends together. So these next four pieces I got to cut out are just basic squares, nothing special. I'm not going to bore you with just me running a grinder and a bunch of you know, sped up video. So you'll get the idea of what I just did here. I got to do four more times. Um, but then hopefully when I get all these cut out, we'll go from this clip here. The next clip will be me, hopefully, uh, mocking these up in place to weld them. So hopefully it'll be some welding video right now. So I stopped out to work. It's Sunday and it's raining. Actually, it's almost snowing out. But I got my fuel cell all taped up and mocked up. Uh, I'm going to get ready to start tacking this thing together and then welding it. And the last thing I'm going to do is I don't have the lid on it yet. Is I'm going to go back to the shop and I'm going to fit a few more things. And then I'll come back out here and final weld everything. So for now, I'm just going to get going on welding the main box part of the fuel cell together. So. So what I got going on here is I got the main part of my fuel cell uh, made up, no, no cap on it yet, but I got it full of water right now, and it's full right to the top. So I'm going to do to see how close I got with my rough measurements for figuring out how much a gallon of fuel will be. I'm just going to take and do a quick displacement test, a one gallon jug of quick suds. I'll just push this down in my cell. So it's going to displace, you know, roughly, not quite a gallon because the jug doesn't go all the way down in there. But you can see it's waters to right there. So this thing full would have been up to here. So it's not quite pushing out a gallon of water. But if I take that out and look at everything that's left in there, that should make up for about what the pump itself is going to displace and what that quite didn't push out all the way to make up for a gallon. So I'm going to go ahead and say I got roughly about a gallon of uh, fuel sitting in that thing. So I'm going to go ahead and make the uh, top plate for, and probably weld in the ring for the pump. And then I'll run out to my shop and I'll make the top plate fit, come back out here and weld it all up. So what I got here is uh, the majority of my stuff mocked up here. I forgot to bring the fittings for the regulator and the breather return setup. So what I'm going to do is go out to my shop and grab those fittings. I'll come back and I'll figure out where I'm going to mount that stuff. And then I didn't weld this top on yet because when I go to punch the holes in for wherever fittings and stuff got to go, I don't want to dump all the debris into the tank and then not be able to flush it out real clean just by having like one hole or whatever to try to get stuff out. So I'll get everything in and weld it up, bottom side, everything, and then cap this back up, buzz it on, seal it up, and then I'll make the, uh, the mounting flange basically that goes around that'll sit on the swing arm itself. I'll get that situated up on here and weld it up. So a little more to do, but it's getting there. Okay, I'm back out at my shop and I'm going to start laying out where my fill and return regulator and vent are going to go. So what I come up with is I don't have a lot of space. I ran out of space in a hurry because of the size of the actual mount itself for the pump. And I bought a 2 inch fill cap for the cell. Uh, my theory was if I made it 2 inch it would be big enough that if it's mounted on here that I'd be able to get a spout in from, you know, from the side of the bike pretty easy without having to build like a filler neck. So this is gonna be tight on space, but I think I can get it in this corner here. So that'll be good that way. The pump will sit right here. 
and the fitting for the pump will face that way so it won't go over the cap. And then I'm going to go, my regulator will sit right there. So the return side will come in here and it'll return straight back to the tank. Then I got my boost reference port will go forward with the return line and also the line off the side of the regulator where I read fuel pressure from. So I'll have three little lines that'll kind of run together and I'll, I'll run them to the front of the bike and plumb them up kind of neat. And then I got my, it's actually a rollover the check valve. So it's a rollover and a vent. So it's a rollover check valve and vent, I should say. So that'll go right there. So the tank can vent. And if the bike actually ends up on its side or rolls over, that check valve in there, that ball will float up and plug this so it doesn't leak, uh, doesn't leak fuel all over the place. So everything will get laid out pretty much like that. And I'll start plunking some holes in here and mounting the stuff, and then we'll go back and do some more welding. And I already took the top plate, and I actually traced, instead of using the cardboard template and maybe coming up not quite the same dimensions as what the aluminum cell turned out to be, I brought the cell out here, traced it onto the plate, so I got the actual shape of the cell on the plate and where it's going to go. So I'll get this cut out, and then we got one more trip of uh, welding to do. Now that I got all of this laid out, you know, these guys are sitting in their little register. I went ahead and cut this plate, and then this is just slide down this. And it's actually going to be just about a half inch below the surface here. So now I can go weld all this stuff up and then uh, start mocking it up in the bike itself. So what I'm going to do here is, these are the weld bungs for the uh, regulator and the um, vent. So I'm going to actually just weld these on the inside, so the outside actually is just real clean looking, just a flush mount, there's no be no weld. So I'll, I'll run a bead around these real quick, and then the return side, I'm going to have to find a tube to weld on, just like a standoff tube, so when it's returning fuel, it doesn't just splatter fuel into the cell and disturb everything, and it'll uh, return under the fuel level itself. So I'll get going on that. So I got the uh, the fill neck welded on, and I welded that from the inside as well. So on the outside, there's no weld. It just looks like it's sitting on there. Same with the two bungs, no weld. Just ran the beads around the inside. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get this fitted up on there and uh, weld the thing shut. After that, we'll put our, uh, our plate on. And Bob's your uncle. I'm not an awesome TIG welder, but it's turned out pretty good. Uh, it'll work. I just gotta get the, uh, the mounting plate on here, weld that, and then I'll mount it on the bike so I can poke the holes in it for the uh, mounting holes and then send it off to anodizing. So here it is, all uh, pretty much welded up, ready to uh, fit into the swing arm and then figure out where the mounting holes are gonna be and then send it out to anodize. But for now, this is kinda how it's gonna go. Regulator be there, fill cap here.
That's about how it's going to be. So there's my swing arm fuel cell. Get the anodizing done and get it in. We'll get this thing fired up on M1 hopefully uh, this year yet. I still got to get injectors, but for now, this little part of the project is done. I'm going to pull all the old fuel system off the bike tomorrow, sell that stuff, and then start mocking up all the new parts. We'll go from there. Thanks for hanging out.